The intro sim is a simulated mindscape created by the Neurostalgia Institute to ensure new neuroprobers are fully prepared before working with their first client. Although not as complex as an actual client, the intro sim offers unique guidance to train and remind neuroprobers of the key principles and techniques of neuroprobing. Welcome to Neuroprober Training. I am pleased to be your guide. When I'm speaking, you can always make, whether you are speaking with the client directly or neuroprobing within their mind, it is always imperative to listen. You'll find that every detail of the subconscious is trying to tell its story. In the case of our clients, it's often the forgotten story of the trauma they experienced. Some parts of the client's memory may have become confused or corrupted by However, if you look closely and carefully in the right places, you will find that the truth will ultimately shine through. Some parts of the subconscious allow you to interact with them. While neuroprobing, make a left-click motion to engage with it. Holding on to right-click will allow you to move the item around to examine it further. When you are done, you can make a left-click motion again and it will return to its natural position. While neuroprobing, you will encounter objects that look like photographs. This is how your consciousness interprets the concrete memory moments it finds within the client's psyche. Typically, there are about 10 of these memory photos found in each psyche. The mind can only hold... When you acknowledge a memory photo, it will surface more prominently in the client's psyche, and at that point can be found in a safe area of the mind, often where you begin within the client's mind. When you have found all 10 photos, you must put five of the memories that actually represent the trauma in the proper order. Doing so will, at last, fully release the memory to the client's conscious mind. Often he or she will experience a breakthrough at this moment. That breakthrough is what every neuroprober lives for and is the key to the client finally being able to work towards true recovery. The most important thing you do as a neuroprober is find and acknowledge these photos. However, this is easier said than done. While some photos are freely available in the subconscious, others are buried deeply within and will need to be coaxed out. Interacting with one part of the mind can sometimes open up new areas of the psyche. Some things, like these doors, can change their state in response to actions taken elsewhere. The subconscious doesn't take kindly to intruders and will take every opportunity to feed off of any sensations of anxiety or tension you offer to it. If you can, try to stay calm and peaceful, even in the face of terror. If you can calm yourself, you'll find this. Here's an example of a particularly buried memory. Some details of a given trauma can be especially tenacious, but by gently and cleverly listening to the clues the mind gives you, you will find all you need to work through it. Just think of it as a puzzle for you to solve. When you focus on these puzzles, make a right-click motion if you need to break your concentration. While neuroprobing, your consciousness is lost deep inside the subconscious mind of the client. Though this is a journey that you must make alone, we at the Neurostalgia Institute take the safety of our neuroprobers very seriously. If you need to access any of your neuroprober tools or pull your consciousness free, 
Press your finger where an escape key might be. This will bring up your Neuroprober tools and you can proceed as needed from there. Do you remember when I mentioned that the client's subconsciousness can feed off of your fear? Some uniquely vulnerable areas can be very sensitive and dangerous. When you place your consciousness in another's subconsciousness, there is a risk of you getting hurt, of the pain and turmoil of the client. You can even pick up and walk around with some objects. To do so, interact with it and then start walking while holding on to it. Remember, this is just a simulation created by the Neurostalgia Institute. The psyches of actual clients will likely be more complex and often much more terrifying.
When your consciousness is in another's subconsciousness, your psyches will inevitably intermingle. Just as the client's mind can affect you, you will see parts of yourself reflected in the mind of the client. Tread lightly and tread carefully. At Neurostalgia, we take great measures to ensure our neuroprober safety as best we can. However, you are about to proceed through a highly dangerous area that you must face alone. If the client's subconscious becomes too volatile, you will be automatically removed from this area of the mind and taken to a safer area of the mind. Use this as an opportunity to collect yourself. When you're ready, you will be able to easily return to where you left off to battle the darkness and chaos that has taken root in the client's subconscious. This is a simulation, not an actual client. Clients are very nuanced, but this sim may be more simple than you think. Trust your gut based on the clues you saw. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's all rushing back to me. 